Let me sum up history. Are you ready for summing up history? Here's a little Cliff's notes. Ready? A house is on fire. Let's think back. What did we do last time there was a house fire? I don't remember. Let's see if there's a strategic report about what we did last time there was a house fire. I don't know what we should do. In the meantime, let's form a committee to mow the lawn. <laughs> that is history in a nutshell, right? Like, pick any civil rights movement, pick any major social change movement. That's pretty much what happened. Is like, um, hello, there's a problem. Problem right here. Oh, wow. For the three people listening, what should we be doing with that problem? I don't know. Let's redecorate. <laughs> so this recently came across Facebook. Did any of you see this lovely, beautiful image? It's gorgeous. Can we agree on that? Super pretty, right? The word is misspelled. The word privilege <laughs> is misspelled on this beautiful poster, right? So then what happens is, is I'm like, oh my gosh, they can't even run spell check. Like I forwarded this out, I put it on my Facebook page, it was even in my monthly newsletter, and now there's some spelling error. So I'm judging the artist, who I was showcasing earlier for his beautiful work. Now I'm highlighting it to a group of Dartmouth students, faculty, and staff, right? Now I'm an extra asshole, right? Like look, error. And you know what, when you do that, I feel like a superhero. I found the error. Did you find the error? No. I don't share with you that I also did not find the error until it was pointed out to me on my Facebook feed. But now I know, so I'm going to somehow forget that I used to not know because I still know that I didn't know. Now I know, and I feel better than you. Now you know, so you feel better than everyone else. Bonus, the great equalizer is that none of us are perfect. I love this piece of artwork because it still has a mistake in it. Good, because we're all in this and we're all full of mistakes and we're gonna make a lot of them. Some of us are so good at making mistakes that it has become such a habit, we don't even know that we're making mistakes. Those are the best kind of mistakes. And if you're open to listening, other people will tell you when you have made a mistake. If your reaction is, I didn't do that, well, maybe I didn't do that, right? Maybe you're just listening to your inner dialogue. That's still listening. That's growth. And also, honestly, that's change. That's doing something different. It's embracing a poster with a spelling error, right? Being open to the fact that you probably have made mistakes already today and didn't know it. Everyone in this room has intentionally or unintentionally hurt somebody today, right? That has happened. So, yay, instead of striving for perfection, let's just really see where we're actually at. Deal with reality. So now here's, let's do a little bit more history, okay? This was on Facebook yesterday. Please note my reference sources, right? This is on Facebook, this is brilliant, okay? I have a little pointer thing, cat toy, okay. So, do you see this group? They are angry about uh, pirates, it looks, okay? <laughs> This person is like, WTF, what's your deal with pirates? What's going on with the pirate thing? And they're like, no, pirates are good, right? We even have National Pirate Day, you should join in. This guy's like, um, that seems stupid. I don't really like your idea. No, it's real good, ah, we don't even want you in the group, you can't come to Pirate Day. Um, I think this sounds dumb. How about we just have a day where we can all talk normal or we can all talk like pirates. We don't have to actually be pirates and kill people. No, that's the best part. No, um, yeah, nope, not changing my mind. Come on, come on, this is really good, ah! Nope, I'd like to not do that. What, what are you talking about? No, this is really good. Well, I don't know, I'd really like my girlfriend to be able to come. She really thinks Pirate Day is stupid. I don't know what's going on. No, Pirate Day is red! I don't know, maybe I'll come over here. Maybe, oh look, maybe you'll be my new girlfriend. Hello, how are you, right? What's going on, we just lost one. Whatever, we can sacrifice one, it's totally fine. What? Sacrifice one, what are you talking about? Look, they look really happy. Maybe we should be happy. No, I'm really invested in being very angry. Very angry, I have a lot of t-shirts to say I'm angry. I have a t-shirt that has this on it right here right now. Yeah, I know, that t-shirt was really stupid. Yep, sure was, we are going over here, talk to the hand, boom. Love it when cartoon characters talking to the hands, right? Can y'all see this? I'm very sorry. You're getting a good view though, good job. Um, so this person is all by themselves, right? This one. They're all together. They're designing their own t-shirts now. It has hearts on it instead of pirates on it. Do you see that? Okay, what, I, I don't have a heart t-shirt. 
I only have my stupid parrot t-shirt, right? And then eventually, okay, I'll take a heart t-shirt. Do you see this? Are you following this? Now, in light of recent events over the last 400 years, do you see how this works? What we forget is the risk that person one, two, three, four, five, we forget that risk. And what happens is, is that we get everybody in a heart t-shirt and then we think we're done. But it just, it's cyclical. Because the heart t-shirt isn't done. It's also not a turkey. Do you see that? You have to be able to understand whatever it is you're passionate about is really important. And it is important to be passionate about stuff, whether it's pirates or hearts. But you also have to take responsibility for the consequences of taking this risk. And if you just showed up and got a heart t-shirt and weren't even involved in the history of how you got heart t-shirts, it is important to remember how you got there. And I mean this whether I'm talking about race-based equity, gender-based equity, sexual identity-based equity, class equity, ableism, xenophobia, immigration, you pick your battle. You are not the first person to fight this. But you might be the tipping point. It's important to do both. That is doing something different. Stand up. Do something. Speak. Say. Use your voice. Those of you that don't feel like you have a voice, blog, journal, and sign your name. Act. Get up and actually do something that claims your own responsibility. There's your to-do list, right? When I was on my honeymoon, I ran into Jim Larkin's memorial statue. And the quote at the bottom says, the great appear great because we are on our knees. Let's rise. And I want you to think about who you've put down here. It is your responsibility to forgive them. The reason I work with college students, faculty, and staff is because we are the most privileged people in this current system, and we are the ones who can be the change we want to be. It's us. We can use that privilege and that responsibility to stop history. We don't have to just keep doing it again and again and again, but we will, unless we do something different. Today's the day that everything changes. Thank you.